Hello, I'm Bev, author and your host for this episode of Through a Rosy Window into Wellness. Throughout the ages, poets, scholars, and philosophers were telling us that we could control some things and others we could not. from 8th century Buddhism to Mother Goose in 1695, but probably the most well-known is a serenity prayer. And we can give credit for the version that we're all familiar with to Winifred Crane Weigel in 1933, and made even more famous by Reinhold Niebuhr in 1943. God grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can, and wisdom to know the difference. Are we pretending that we don't have choices because it's easier than making changes? And is it truly easier not to make changes if we're struggling with life? Life is hard. It always has been hard. But let's take a little reality break. If you know a hundred people, how many of those hundred people are melting snow to wash clothes? How many are using outhouses instead of indoor plumbing? How many washcloth diapers? How many cut wood to heat their homes, and not by choice, but by necessity? Modern life has many challenges and hardships. But is it because we're not taking the time to reach out to like-minded people who share our values? Have we neglected our friendships, lost our ability to communicate? And if we are busy for the sake of being busy, where does that get us? We all know people that have it tough, illness, injury, job loss. We know that in our Western culture, our social systems are not as good as they could be. But holy smokes, are they that bad? And perhaps if we were all connected again, maybe the cracks in the system wouldn't be big enough to let people fall through. So why are we struggling so much? I think that it is twofold. We are convinced that we need to be super people, islands instead of villages. And it is true. We should value our individualism. We can openly talk about our values. We can surround ourselves with like-minded people. But that is the key, isn't it? Being ourselves without being isolated. And the second is, I believe, that we have been convinced that we have no power or choice. Please ask yourself how a famous actor gets famous. Is it because people watch their movies? A product gets to the top of its market by selling. We don't need to boycott. You don't need to be an activist. If you don't want to, but if everyone bought, watched, traveled, supported with their values, we would begin to see a shift. If our world is going to hell in a handbasket, it is up to us to begin at home and expand to our communities The best part is you don't even have to think that you're saving the world. You're just making your home and your village the best that it can be. And that leads to your values and your best life. We all have the power. It is time to recognize that you have the intelligence, the commitment, the strength to define what your own values are and to live each day moving to the top of your game. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither do changes come quickly. Choose the ones that resonate and become the mayor of your village. Why have we become so helpless? The person who is not happy at their job, do they stay and complain, making everyone miserable? Can we be grateful for what we have, find a bright spot until we can find new opportunity? How many people do you speak to that feel disconnected but don't eat dinner at the dinner table or don't turn off their cell phone even when they're out with friends? 
how many people do you know that feel they have no social life but are quick to leave after work, dash home and stay there till the next shift? not engaging in extracurricular activities, not saying hello to their neighbor, and not reaching out to their friends. As you begin to look at values and build the foundations of your village, perhaps what you have already put in place with food, water, shelter, safety, and security for you and your children will become easier to manage. And then we can put some effort into the pieces of our lives that will build these foundations with more strength and support and greater ease. Do we want to keep complaining and leave things as they are? Or do we want to put some effort into creating a village aligned with our well-defined values? These are all choices. When we look at the foundations that we are building, a huge part of that is the role that two parents play in bringing up children who feel safe, secure, and have healthy boundaries, self-esteem, and confidence, whether both parents live in the same home or not. If you have an alternative arrangement that does not incorporate the influence of both parents, perhaps there may be a trusted friend or family member that you can satisfy some of what might be missing. Is there a group or club that might fulfill some of the skills or interests that just aren't your cup of tea? We aren't all excited about everything, but there are opportunities for your children to try different things. And there's also the extra pressure that is put on a single parent household. You do get to take a break to find those supports. Marriage, parenting, and money, all of these very important aspects of our lives, we're just supposed to know how to do them well. That's not always the case. If you're struggling, find some help. We don't expect to just go get the car running if the engine won't start. We find someone who knows how to fix it. Yet so many people struggle with the idea of getting some help with the things that mean so much more than that car that won't start. If the first book you read or counselor that you go to or retreat you attend does not resonate, find the one that fits your family's values and have the courage to change the things you can. You do have the courage to change and to make a difference for you and your family. And you model those values every day. If solid relationships are part of your core values, take the steps to strengthen them. Turn off the TV and the cell phones. Learn good communication skills. Work and play together. Find ways to take some pressures off. Rome wasn't built in a day and your ideal village won't be either. A work in progress fluid and changing, with those coming and going, but please know that you have the strength and wisdom that you need. Take responsibility and every day work toward those values and your best life. Be the mayor and maybe even hang this sign in your office. If I'm not home accepting what I can't change, I'm probably out changing what I can't accept. Until next time, we hope that you will enjoy this short meditation as we wrap up today's episode. Please do not listen to the following recording if you or anyone who may be listening is driving or participating in any activity that requires full attention. Please find the most comfortable position you can. Notice your breath. You don't have to make it deeper or slower, just notice the gentle rhythm. When we notice our breath, it's just a lovely way to let our mind and our body know of our intention to relax. As you are noticing your breath, you could close your eyes if you'd like. As you take a nice breath in and hold it for a second, and then let it out slowly. You can feel the relaxation moving from the top of your head, down your neck and into your shoulders. Further now, through your whole body and into your legs. Feeling quite comfortable and supported. Perhaps you can allow all of the muscles in your legs to rest and relax down to the very tips of your toes. 
A breath in brings your attention back to your forehead and that wave of relaxation can move over your eyes, down through your jaws and all of the muscles around your lips can rest and relax. Down over your shoulders and through your biceps, down through your elbows, forearms, to the very tips of your fingers, resting and relaxing. It feels quite nice now and then to take a few moments to relax, just to let the chair support your whole body and to let your mind wander. Perhaps you can contemplate what changes you would like to see in your life. Maybe it's some positive actions at work. Or maybe a shift at home. It might even be those things you've been putting off doing for yourself. If we take a few minutes to let our mind quiet, we can sometimes see things more clearly. Often, with clarity comes solutions, change, and often change comes in small daily steps that add up over time. You do know that you can name your values. Prioritize your time, money, relationships. You can begin to direct in the direction you desire. It all begins by letting go of what you don't want and moving toward where you would like to be. You know that you have the intelligence, the knowledge, and the commitment to get to any goal you choose. You know that you are strong, capable, loving, and lovable. And that you know just what you need to do to move forward happily, healthfully, safely. You know that you can find the time each and every day to do the things you know you need to do to move you and your family forward happily, healthfully, safely. With each day that goes by, you find it easier and easier to name your values. And as each day goes by, it's easier and easier to make those choices and decisions to live to your values. As you take the time each day to relax, to quiet your mind, you notice that you're noticing more opportunities to make the changes you would like to make. To find community that supports your views. To have an open mind to others and to begin to build those solid foundations. To build that village. I hope you've enjoyed these few moments of peaceful calm, of restful relaxation. I hope that you will always know that you have the answers. You are important and powerful and do have the wisdom to know what you can change. Now as we end our time together today, you can feel the energy coming up through the soles of your feet. up through your legs and into your body. Feel that lightness moving into your fingertips and all the way up through your arms and across your shoulders. That energy moving up through your neck and to the very top of your head so that whenever you're ready to open your eyes, you will feel so refreshed and be looking forward to the rest of a wonderful day.